Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We continue with the grace of God talking about the eye. If you remember, we said that during the month of Tooth in the four Gospels, we realized that there is a connection with the eye, our eyes. So we decided that we're going to meditate on this during the sermons of Sundays. The first Sunday was talking about the eye that is full of dissatisfaction. There is no contentment. And uh, if you remember, the gospel was saying that the Lord gave that example or parable and he, to, to the people. And said, he said, we mourn to you and you did not weep. And we played the flute for you and you did not dance. So it's like, and there is no satisfaction. And we talked about this the first Sunday. The second Sunday, last Sunday, we, we talked about the blessed eyes. When we saw that verse in the Gospel of St. Luke in chapter 10, when the Lord said, Blessed are your eyes, for they see the things which you see. And we talked about this also last week, the blessed eye and the meaning of the eye that is full of blessing versus the eyes that are not blessed and how we can have the blessed eyes in our life. Today, we heard the story of Zacchaeus many, many times before. But the point that I want to talk about is the verse, what is said that, and he sought to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus. I want to talk with you about the will what I want in my life. There is no way for any change that can happen in my life without my own will. I get support from God for sure. I get support from the church. I'm invited in many ways and many times to be connected with God. But here, if I don't have the will, if I don't want to, Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. This is the struggle of a lot of people. That, yeah, I want, but I don't know how. Well, sometimes I know how, but sometimes I don't continue on that road of well all the time. The well changes based on the motivations. Sometimes we have strong motivations that can help us to excel and to go the right direction. But sometimes we don't. We don't have that motiv motivation. So, it is really wise if when we have this motivation, we use it. We use it. St. Paul talked about this in Romans 7, about the will. Imagine that somebody like St. Paul is complaining of having the weak will sometimes. And he said this, For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, or I'm going to change the word will into wish, so you can understand the meaning. For what I wish to do, or I will to do, that I do not do, I do not practice. But what I hate, that I will do. If then I do what I wish not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For the will is present, the will is present with me. But how to perform what is good, I do not find. For the good that I will or I wish to do, I do not do. But the evil... I wish not to do that I practice. Now, if I do what I wish not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. Sin that it is inside us that takes away that will 
inside us. The will. The will. The Lord connected many things with people that he encountered with, with the will. سيد المسيح يربط أشياء كثيرة بالإرادة. أنت عايز ولا مش عايز؟ لأن لو أنا مش عايز خلاص. مهما أي حد حاول، مهما أي أي حد حاول يساعدني، أنا مش عايز. أنا مش عايز. ف يقول للشاب الغني إن أردت أن تدخل الحياة فاحفظ الوصايا، إن أردت لو أنت عايز. If you don't want, you don't want. If you want to enter into life, keep the commandment. This is what he said to the rich young man. And he said, it is up to you. If you wish, if you will. Jesus said to him, if you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have a treasure in heaven and come follow me. So it is all about the will. He said to everybody, for whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. If you want, those who desire or, or those who want to do it. من أراد أن يخلص نفسه يهلكها يعني يموت عن الشهوات uh, عن العالم. Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ to whom is glory also talked about Jerusalem and he said, the, oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones, those who sent to her. How often I wanted to gather together your children together as the hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. You were not willing. No one, no one will change your own will. You have, you have to work on that. God gave us the free will to decide what we want to do in our life what weakens the will what weakens the will this is something we need we need to think about especially that the will can be changed and can be affected by the eye i wanted to connect or, or see the relation between the eye and the will because sometimes you become weaker because of what you're seeing when i see something wrong and i get attached the will will become little and little. That's why the world now is advertising. They know very well how to get into your will by affecting you by the advertisement, by the colors, by the sounds, by the glittering things that they put around us all the time. عشان يأثروا على إيه؟ على إرادة الواحد. وتلاقي العينين تتأثر العينين تشوف أول ما العينين اتأثرت وبصت وبحلقت تعمل إيه؟ تبتدي تاخد الرسالة من العين للقلب عجبني الكلام دوت أنا عايز أكتر من كده وبعدين ألقى نفسي الإرادة عمالة تضعف الأول الأول كنت بغمض عيني وأبعد كل ما غمض عيني وأبعد ألقى نفسي ماسك كويس ابتدي ابص زياده القى نفسي بتاثر القى نفسي بتاثر what what weakens our will in few words كده what weakens our will number one the last the last saint augustine said i sat on the top of the world when i came to fear nothing and desire nothing but you O god when i desire other things when I want other things, when I fear other things, the will will become less. الإرادة تضعف. الإرادة تضعف. الشهوة بتضعف الإرادة. حوة لما سقطت الكتاب يقول عليها كده نظرت إلى السمرة فوجدتها وجدتها شهية للأكل وبهجة للعيون. الله إيه ده؟ بهجة للعيون؟ آه الأول كانت بتعدي من جنبها وخلاص ربنا قال ما تقربولهاش. God said do not touch the fruit as she said. She knew the commandment Eve. Eve. And then when she was passing by the fruit without looking deep at it everything was fine. But when she stood and she started to look look deeply 
The well changed. Eat. No, no, no. Eat. It's good. Look at it. She fell. And this is how we fall. The well become lower and lower and weaker and weaker. And because of that, what happens? The persons, the person lose the well and and fall in sin and make others fall as well. St. Paul said again, let me remind you, for what I will or I wish to do, that I do not practice, but what I hate, that I do. Does it sound like somebody? It sounds like somebody. Most of us, when we fall in sin, we don't like it. I'm not happy while I'm doing it. But the will is weak. الإرادة ضعيفة عشان كده بلقى نفسي عمال أعمل وأنا مش مبسوط مش مستريح. The second reason for weakening the will is when you are close to the sin. When you are close to the things that make us fall in sin. القرب من مادة الخطية يضعف الإرادة. الكتاب يقول عن لوط ان هو دخل سدوم ونشوف العلاج كمان شو الآية يعني لكن خروجه من سدوم بطريقة وحشة جدا 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 بسبب الإرادة الضعيفة لأن عاش في مجتمع مش مناسب لوط lived in the wrong environment lived in the wrong environment and this changed the will. You know the shameful story about him and his daughters on his way out of Sodom. You know that he lost his wife and she became a pillar of salt because of the weakness of will. God was pushing him. He sent him, he sent him the angels to push him out of Sodom. In the beginning, it was easy to run away. But the more I am attached to this, the more the will will be weakened. The more the will will be weakened. المعاشرات الرديئة تفسد الأخلاق الجيدة. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Evil companies. When I know wrong people in my life, when I know wrong ideas in my life, when I live in an environment that's affecting me in a negative way in a negative way we have a lot of things around us the wise person will run from that this is not for me then let me run from it the idea of trying the idea of thinking about the sin will lead me to this and I will get close and then when I get close when I am close very hard for me not to, to be changed from inside. I will change. I will change from inside. Another reason that weakens the will is living a long, long time in the atmosphere of sin. In the beginning, we feel that sin is bad. I don't like it. I hate what I'm doing, but I still do it. I have a weak will to cease and to stop in the beginning. But then after that, it becomes normal. This is the norm. Today's gospel was talking about Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector. And I think of, uh, of Zacchaeus that in the beginning, he wasn't happy while he's collecting tax unlawfully from people. Because they, this is the sin of these people, those people that they were like uh, uh, collecting taxes for the occupier, the Romans, and unlawfully collecting more so he can cover his expenses and make money. So in the beginning, maybe he wasn't happy. But then after that, it becomes normal. في الأول تلاقي صعب عليه قوي لكن بعد شوية بقى ده الطبيعي ده الطبيعي ياخدوا ياخدوا حكة الناس اللي هم ال ال الأساسيات في حياتهم والأول يبقى تعبان ومتضايق وبعد شوية لا هو ده الطبيعي هو ده المفروض هو ده المفروض من نلاقي إيه نلاقي بعد شوية يبقى فيه أسوأ 
جوه الانسان وهو بيعمل الخطيه وما فيش حاجه تلمس القلب علشان تغير وعلشان ان هو يعني يرفض عشان ان هو يرفض يعمل الخطيه a story about the length of time in sin a doctor was telling her own story that when she was young she was raised in a very poor family they have just even less than, than the necessities the father and the mother realized that this younger girl seemed to be smart so they put all, uh, all her hope on her the hopes of the family they put it on this little girl and they started to treat her different than her brothers and sisters so they said to eat they take the bigger portion and give it to her or sometimes she said that she said that she said sometimes I remember my mom taking the meat from my sisters and give it to me it's enough for you this one will be the doctor we have to take care of her and she said I felt so bad when she was young I felt so bad but then they practice they continue to practice this and she said after a while I started to feel that's normal it's normal yeah they have to give up their portion for me and then she started to feel entitled for this and she grew so selfish self-centered thinks about herself only and she grew and she became that doctor that the family anticipated but the first people she rejected from her life was the family first the mom and dad and sisters and brothers why because she was just looking at herself the length of the time in sin change us don't count that sometimes you will feel like yeah well I can get out of this quickly in the beginning you can in the beginning maybe you can but later on you cannot the length of time in the sin that's why the advice always when you drift go back quickly go back quickly one of the fathers of the church he said that it is easier to remove a little plant from the ground more than removing a shrub the shrub made roots roots and it is easier to remove a shrub than removing a tree the tree is deeper is deep be careful be careful because that this is how we change some people in there complain about themselves their own self they say I don't know how I became like that I don't know what happened to me this is not me I was not like that yeah the length of time being away or in sin affect us in the bad way and the will will diminish little by little wrong environment is one of the reasons is one of the reasons why the will will be weakened the wrong environment and my example here is Samson Samson also will realize the eye in this see in in uh, in the book of uh, Judges chapter 14 couple of verses but you will see how many how many verb here about the eye seeing it says now Samson went down to Timnah and saw a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines so she went up and told his father and mother saying I have seen a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines now therefore get her for me as a wife he knows that it is wrong then his father and mother said to him is there no woman among the daughters of your brethren or among all my people that you must go and get a wife from the uncircumcised Philistines and Samson said to his father get her for me get her for she pleases me well she pleases me well actually the Arabic uh, the Arabic translation العنين 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 اللي عملها تبص 
ونلاقي التغيير الجامد اللي ممكن يحصل في حياتنا وفي ارادتنا بسبب ان احنا سيبنا العينين تبص كتير خد بالك على عينيك بي كيرفول اوف يور ايز بي كيرفول اوف يور ايز هاو كان اي ميك ماي ويل سترونجر هاو كان اي ميك ماي ويل سترونجر نمبر 1 Number one, no one can change us. No one can make us better. No one can change our will except the Lord the Christ himself. So number one is the sacraments. Communion, communion will give me the power. Confession, repentance, changing of my life. Changing of my life can change things. I, as I always like to remember, that repentance in Greek is metania and the word metania means what? changing direction doing a U-turn coming back that's simple that's simple and and when I come back the power will be different change environment change direction Peter who told the Lord if all deny you I will not when he sat with the wrong crowd in the wrong environment, he denied him. He denied him. Put yourself in the right environment. And when you do that, the will will be stronger. Second, the blessed eye that we talked about last time. The holy eye. The holy eye that can change. I love it when I talk and I make the comparison between Abraham and Lot in Old Testament. When they started to clash together, the, his shepherds with the shepherd of Lot, and they are fighting. Look at somebody who is really, really blessed, Abraham. And look at Lot. Lot, let's start with Lot. And Lot, look at, look at this, the effect of the eye. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as you go towards Zoar. He lifted his eyes and he looked. And when he looked, he saw that Sodom is so beautiful, so fruitful. There is a lot of business in this area. I'll be very happy. He didn't think about how he's going to get out from there or that day he got out and he lost his wife and the rest of his children. He didn't think about the effect of the wrong environment on him, on himself. That's when my eyes are driven by me. But look at Abraham. Look at Abraham. And the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot has separated from him here and a command from the Lord from God lift your eyes lift your eyes it's a, it's a sight that is blessed by God lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are northward, southward, eastward and westward for all the land which you see I give to you and your descendants forever and I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth so that if a man could number the dust of the earth then your descendants also could be numbered have the blessed eyes we talked about this last time when he told them anoint your eyes with salt and the salt here you look at the kahal aineek bekohl like a tupsir a sacrament the sacraments that can help me with that. We see the weakness of somebody like Solomon when he said about himself, whatever my eyes desire, I did not keep from them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor. And then what happened to him? He stood at the end to offer incense to the idols. Why? He didn't control the eyes. The eyes affect the will. The eyes affect the will. Another way to make the will stronger, have a strong and good conscience. خلي فيه ضمير صاحي. ده غلط ما تقربلوش. 
ده غلط ما تبصلوش ده غلط ما تتعاملش معاه وانت الحارس على ضميرك You are the one who protects your own conscience. You are the one who can control if you will fall in this or not. All Satan can do is to offer. He will not force you for anything. فالحل يكون ايه؟ يكون كده محبة ربنا ومخافة ربنا ويقظة يقظة الضمير. واحد كده يقول كلمة جميلة قوي يقول الخطية تدمر الجسد. والتوبة تعطي صحة الخطية تدمر النفس والتوبة تعطي فرح الخطية تدمر الروح والتوبة تعطي شبع الخطية تدمر العلاقات والتوبة تعطي النجاح الاجتماعي repentance changing direction coming back coming back متانيا so I can get close to him may God give us the strong will God is always ready to offer and to give but when it comes to the will he wants us to work on it as well and to be honest in wanting to get close to him Zacchaeus willed and wished and wanted to see the Lord and when he just wished and wanted and willed to see the Lord and he climbed the sycamore tree the Lord number one looked at him second He went to his, his own house and spent time there and he threw the feast for him and everybody was like, wow, what is that? Somebody that we never think of that can be close to Christ, here he is. The Lord the Christ is in his house. May he enter our houses. May he enter our conscience and sanctify our wills. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Oh,